Hey, it's Rose. Um, so I got like a couple emails from Seneca um, a little while ago, but like the due date is coming up, so I haven't like touched them yet. I've like read them over um, since I've done my program. Like graduation is coming up in June, so they sent me this email, and it says congratulations. Woo! So it says you did it. Congratulations on graduating from Seneca Polytechnic. You worked hard to complete your studies and we are Seneca proud of you. Here is some important information about what happens next. Um, so convocation. So it says you'll be invited to a convocation ceremony to celebrate your graduation. Ooh, so we're gonna be able to like walk across the stage. I remember like during COVID, like we weren't able to like walk across the stage. Um, so this time I'm excited because we get to. Um, and then your credential will be delivered soon. I've actually already seen my like bachelor's degree online, which I will um, like go through and show. Um, as well but i'm excited to like see the full or see the actual like physical copy um okay so it says yeah so they already like um delivered it like digitally um but i guess the hard copy will be delivered oh so they're not actually gonna give it to us like in june or on convocation they're actually gonna mail it to us that's weird um so yeah, I actually already like updated my mailing information. Um, so I can just skip that. I did that again. And then they said once again, congratulations on graduating and our best wishes for what comes next in your academic or professional career. We look forward to celebrating with you at convocation. And then the second email that they sent is an invitation. And that says, um, Dear Rose, from all of us at Seneca Polytechnic, congratulations on your graduation. Um, we're so proud of what you have accomplished. Accomplished. You now join thousands of Seneca alumni around the world who make a difference in their communities every day. I personally look forward to congratulating you at Seneca's summer 2024 convocation. Here are some important details on how to register for your ceremony. Um, okay, so this is what I have to do. I have to confirm my attendance and reserve my graduation gown. Today's the 17th, so I'm gonna click on this. I'm already logged in, so I just gotta go to, I think, what did it say? Academic records. And then I have to go to graduation related um, convocation RSVP and then I'm gonna say okay so I plan to attend convocation yes yes I'm gonna click yes and then the program oh it says the date and everything in the time yes attending and then please fill out the questions below for your gown please indicate your height range without shoes so I'm going to put 5-2 and then how many guests you will be bringing on um, the max is 3 so I'm going to put 3 and then do you have accessibility needs? I'm going to put no do any of your guests have accessibility needs? I'm going to put no as well and then that's it I'm just going to press submit And then it just says submit conf or confirm. Thank you for submitting your convocation RSVP. Um, you will receive a confirmation email within 24 hours. Press OK. And then I'm going to go back. And then they send you a confirmation email saying thank you for submitting your convocation RSVP. Um, oh, OK. So I just wait for like 24 hours for like a conf confirmation email, I guess. And then once you are done like RSVPing your um, spot for convocation. Um, I just kind of want to go through the bottom part like after confirming my attendance. 
um so they say welcoming you to convocation so they tell you like when it is and everything and then they say to arrive like an hour early so you can get like um registered and gowned i think i think the last time they gave like wristbands for my um guests as well as i think i had one or, or something that um so they kind of like mark you and then it says to bring your seneca one card to the ceremony um so i guess it's just like online i just show that and then oh i have to save the confirmation email that i'm gonna be getting in 24 hours and then the venue and details so it looks like it's not gonna be at seneca college but it's gonna be at meridian hall um so that's like the venue details and then for guests you can invite up to three guests um for your ceremony cool and i already like confirmed that i'm gonna be like bringing three and then they asked about like accessibility needs for like you or your guests i pressed no for that so i don't have to worry about that and then celebrating virtually oh well, there's a live stream Ooh. services dress code so most are in business attire so i gotta find something to wear so yeah that is everything that you have to do to rsvp for graduation how to do it um so just go to like student home um academic records graduation rsvp um press yes yes if you're attending and then say like um your size for the gown like how tall you are roughly um say if like you need accessibility or like um like say if you like require like accessibility um or if any of your guests and then press submit um and then you're gonna get like a confirmation email like 24 hours later and then i'm guessing that's what they're gonna check um on the day of like graduation along with your um student id and then also Seneca, they sent me a um, like a digital like credential email. So it says congratulations, you did it. The same thing, I guess. Um, but they said like we're preparing your credential. Um, so you're so like when you graduate, I think this was new because like I never got like a digital like copy before. I've always I haven't gotten my like other my advanced diploma yet so i ha actually have to like email and ask like when i'm gonna get it i've done that before but i've never gotten like a response um so i gotta ask about that because i do like want my credential but i know it was like during COVID, so i'm guessing like it probably like got lost in the mail or maybe they didn't send it out because it's like so much like so much students like during that time um and like graduation was like a while like after um because of like covid and everything so i got asked about that still but like i remember like my first like general like diploma i got just like a physical copy i got to like walk the stage they didn't do like a dig or digital copy then and then during like for the advanced diploma for that graduation um nope nobody like walked across the stage and they didn't hand out like credentials or anything so i guess they mailed them out then but i gotta like ask because i still haven't like gone mine yet um but like okay so the email says um you will receive digital and physical format so that's like being prepared for your digital credential you were you will receive an email from my creds um notifying you of when it is available for step-by-step -step instructions blah 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 oh so now we get like tracking information i'm guessing because like maybe like other people's like credentials or like diplomas like maybe that's why they added like the like tracking information because like i don't know i gotta ask like if they sent mine out or not because yeah maybe like other people's like got lost and maybe that's like when they started doing like track or like having like tracking information for your like diploma that they send out i guess um okay so i actually already like um got the email registered and everything 
Um, but I did want to show you. So it's on mygrads.ca. I can't believe I'm like completely done and everything. Like, it's it's even crazy to like fathom because like I've done like this is my third program, so it's like school is always like in the back of my head and like now that I'm like completely done it's like it's weird not having like that thought of like oh I have to I have to get that done or oh I have to like now it's like I don't even like think about school anymore like I mean I think because I'm like oh graduation is coming up and everything but then like I don't know um so it says a digital document from Seneca Polytechnic has been issued to you and is ready for viewing um, via mycreds.ca um, so yeah, so I already like registered and everything I'm not gonna show that because like I think I deleted the email or whatever and um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you like the digital like version um, so honors, bachelor of commerce, business management, bachelor degree <gasps> Ooh, it looks so nice. So it says Seneca Polytechnic because they changed the name and everything. Um, the president on the recommendation of the faculty and the registrar with the consent of the Board of Governors hereby awards this bachelor degree to Rose Claire Fernandez in what does it say? In witness of the successful completion of the prescribed program honors bachelor of commerce business management duly sealed and signed at toronto ontario in april 2024 and then it has like the little stamp sticker signature of um from the board of governors let me move my phone and then the president's signature oh yay i don't know what to do I guess I gotta get like frames for like all three of my like credentials um at some point I don't really need a frame right now so I guess when I get like a permanent place for myself then I can like actually like hang these up and like then then I'll get like a nice frame and everything because like I don't have any like I'm only renting this space so it's like I wouldn't be able to like nail holes in yeah i mean i'm still excited to like receive this it looks so nice online like it looks very nice i guess like what's also good about having like a digital copy is like when you actually like when you actually like, go in for like a full-time job like interview i guess um you'll have like like if you save like the d digital copy or even like if you go on the website like before your interview um you have like a copy of like your credential so like say if like the interviewer like asks you to like verify like your credential you could just like literally like show them from your phone rather than like having to like photocopy like a copy i guess um but i don't know i don't know if like interviewers actually like ask for the credential or if it's like just like okay if like you just list it but like i i guess that's like another good thing about like them like giving out like digital credentials now